Over the years, I've received hundreds of questions from students who want to pursue their education in the United States. In 2019 alone, there were over a million international students who were pursuing education in the US. Although the pandemic did put a dent in students' dreams for a brief period of time, the numbers are already going up and they're projected to keep going up. But the sad part is, the United States does not treat every student the same way. Students who pursue a STEM degree have a significant advantage over students who don't pursue a STEM degree. STEM refers to science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. This was a term coined all the way back in 2001 by an American biologist by the name of Judith Ramley. So a STEM degree really refers to any degree that contains curriculum that falls under these four umbrellas. Every international student studying in the US gets a 12 month optional practical training period called OPT, which is when they can put the skills that they learned during their graduate degree to use by being employed in a company. In 2008, the US extended this 12 month and added 17 more months, but only for students who are pursuing a degree in STEM. And further in 2016, this 17th month period was extended to 24 months, but once again, only for students who are pursuing a degree in STEM. So what this means is, if you were pursuing a degree in a STEM major, such as say computer science or mechanical engineering, you get 36 months after you graduate to use your skills and be employed in the US. However, if you are pursuing a non-STEM degree, such as a degree in architecture or journalism or business, you only get 12 months to put your skills to use. Now, you might think, what is the advantage of having 36 months over 12 months? And really, there are two major advantages. First, if you're planning to stay in the US beyond your OPT period and you want to work here and live here, the most popular way you can do that is by applying for something called the H-1B Speciality Occupation Visa. I'm sure you've probably heard of it. Except not everyone who applies for the H-1B will end up getting it, since it's based on a lottery system. For example, in 2021, over 275,000 applications were filed to get an H-1B. But only about 120,000 of those applications were actually granted the H-1B visa. So that's less than half of the applications which were actually given the H-1B visa. If you were a STEM student, you get three shots at applying for this visa, except if you were not a STEM student, you only get one shot. Second, employers are much more likely to hire you if they knew that you had 36 months to stay and work in the US than if you had just 12 months because they're spending a lot of resources trying to train you and onboard you. And it makes sense to spend that on someone who has just a higher probability of staying in the US for a longer period of time. So you can see how having the STEM certified or the STEM certification helps you in two major ways, especially if you want to live and work in the US beyond your OPT. The good news is there are more options available than you think if you want to pursue a non-STEM major. And in this video, I'll introduce you to one of those options, a very affordable one that a friend of mine is currently pursuing. The program has been around for a few years, but it surprisingly, not many people know about it. So I thought I'll make a video and bring this to your attention. My friend Prithvi completed his bachelor's in business administration from Osmania University, which was a three-year degree. And after he finished that, and after working for a few years, he wanted to continue his education and pursue a master's in business and more specifically in analytics. He spent weeks researching 50 plus universities and the programs they offer to see if any of them offered a program that was STEM certified. And after all that research, he did end up finding a few programs that were STEM certified and he ended up choosing one of them, which was the most affordable program of all. This is the master's in marketing analytics and insight from Wright State University. It is one of the most affordable STEM certified business degrees available in the US for international students right now. Let's take a look at what the degree offers. Analytics is everywhere. For example, you're watching this video right now and maybe you click the like button or the subscribe button. And the moment you do that, YouTube knows you've done that and it will personalize all the videos that you watch from now on YouTube. And maybe it'll show you more videos related to studying abroad or related to STEM degrees, or it'll look at what people like you are watching and recommend those videos in the hopes that you like those videos as well. So in the MAI program at Wright State University, you learn this scientific approach in understanding the consumer preferences and using these insights to then help companies build better, more personalized products that consumers will like. Now talking about the requirements, there's really just one. 
you need to have completed a bachelor's degree and have two plus years of work experience. A quick side note, they also accept three-year degrees as long as your university is NAC A accredited and you passed with the first division, that is more than 60%. The good news is Wright State does not require you to submit a GMAT or GRE score as long as your undergraduate GPA is over 2.7 on 4.0. The second good news is that if you're a non-coder, that's completely okay because the university does not require you to have any experience when you apply, nor do you have to take any courses on coding during the degree itself. Finally, you can finish the program as early as just one year by just taking it every consecutive semester. So spring, summer, fall, or fall, summer, spring, whenever you begin. Okay, now let's talk about money. I know you're all thinking about tuition, so I say this is one of the most affordable programs out there because it costs you $36,000 for the entire degree, whereas comparable programs cost around $50,000 or more. And Wright State gives you an option to reduce this amount even further by giving you a scholarship of up to $10,000 if you have an undergrad GPA of 3.0 or above on a 4.0 scale. So if you end up getting the scholarship, you're essentially paying $26,000 for the entire degree. And of course, we can't forget about the expenses outside tuition, such as your rent, your food, travel, miscellaneous expenses, etc. So when I asked my friend Prithvi, he mentioned that to live a modest student life in Dayton, Ohio, which is where the university is, it costs anywhere between $600 to $800 a month. So that comes to about $10,000 for the entire year. So in total, you would be spending about $46,000 if you did not get the scholarship and $36,000 if you did get the scholarship. Uh, I'm really happy that I chose Wright State and I just wanted to give you a quick brief about Wright State and this program. I looked around, shopped around for different programs across the country and uh, I found some programs which were STEM and business students uh, friendly, but most of them were too expensive. Now granted, Wright State is not a Harvard University, but it is Wright State, it's really good. It's a public university and had a great reputation. I also got admitted into UT Dallas, but I chose to go to Wright State because UT Dallas costed $50,000 in Wright State for me after the scholarship cost of $26,000 in tuition. I'm going to be completing my program in one more semester. I'm in the third semester right now. This program can be completed in as early as one year. It is in the hot field of marketing analytics. We learn about numbers, we learn about so many digital media tools and things like that. It's been a fantastic experience and I could only recommend that you come here. Thank you. So there you go. That's one option for you to consider if you want to pursue a degree that is not under the fields of science, technology, engineering, or math, but you still want your program to be STEM certified to get all the advantages. The good news is these options are increasing thanks to the pandemic. More universities are offering their MBA programs to be STEM certified right now and trying to reduce the barrier for international students like you to apply to their program because they want you. The masters I pursued at Columbia University in New York was also a STEM certified program. So it was a master's in management science and engineering. And it was actually a great blend of both business and engineering if you're looking for one. And many MIS and MSBA programs are also becoming STEM certified right now. So there's certainly many options out there. And my advice and request to you would be that if you do find a program that you're excited about, please go to the program website and make sure that you see the words STEM certified and also the words 24 month OPT extension or in total 36 months. Just make sure that you see it on the website, confirm that it is STEM certified, especially if you want to work in the US beyond your graduate degree. By doing this, you will save yourself a lot of trouble in the future. All the very best for your study abroad dreams. And if you haven't yet, check out my book Admitted, which is an all-in-one guide for anyone who aspires to study abroad.